<laughs> That's funny. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. How are you guys? Good. Kind of sleepy. Tired. <laughs> are you guys ready for your 73 questions today? Yes. yes. Okay, let's get started. Can you first tell me who you are? Uh, I'm Erica. Uh, I'm in the Pearl program and I'm first year in Keio University. I'm also a first year in Pearl program. My name is Nanami. Thank you. What are you guys passionate about? Uh, literature, arts, and music. Um, mine would be photography, playing lacrosse, and listening to music. Okay, can you show me the rest of the campus? Yes. All right, let's go. What are your most impressive achievements? Oh, I've been playing the saxophone for the past uh, 11 years. <laughs> Sorry. Um, mine would be being in a movie and being on a newspaper once. Amazing. What three words would you describe each other? <laughs> Dog mom, strong, and artsy. Pink Pilates princess. <laughs> okay. What kind of school is Keio University? Uh, so the school spirit is really strong in Keio. So it's like we're like a whole, like we're like a big family. And also um, there's a lot of interesting people in Keio, so it's a good place to network. Okay, where is KO located? Well, it kind of depends on your grade and maybe your major. So for your first and second year, you come here to Hiyoshi campus to study. And for your third and fourth year, you go to Mita campus. What does PEARL stand for? Okay, so PEARL is the program in economics for alliance, research, and leadership. Yes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. What is one pearl stereotype that's true? Um, I guess we're pretty loud when we study together. And I don't know, maybe our fashion sense. Okay, what is pearl? <laughs> pearl is um, an all English KO Econ B program. And we also take GIC courses, but we can only take English courses. Okay. What kind of atmosphere does Pearl have? Oh, it's really friendly here. Um, it's really easy to make friends and like, well, schoolwork is hard, but it's fine because we all help each other out. In what month does the academic school year start in Pearl? October. How many students are there in one grade? About 100. Why did you guys choose Pearl? Okay, so I wanted to study econ because I felt it would be helpful in whatever uh, field of work I decide to go to. And I also wanted to study in English. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I've always liked numbers, so econ was a pretty good choice. And I guess it was close to home. Okay, rate your university spirit out of 10. 10, I'd say 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you have to be good at English to enter Pearl? Well, we have to write an essay for admission, so I would say yes, we have to be pretty good at English. Are you guys happy with your choice? Yes, yeah. definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. What do you love about Pearl? Uh, so, well, as I said earlier, it's a really friendly environment, and it's a really good place to learn, uh, uh, like, meet new people, yeah, socialize. Mm. I would say how diverse the groups are. We get to meet a lot of people from different countries and different backgrounds, so I get to learn more about different cultures. Okay, what activities, clubs, circles are you guys involved in? Uh, I haven't joined a, any clubs yet, but I'm hoping to join a Taikai club from April. Um, I'm in a Taikai lacrosse club right now. Great. How do you manage your activities and studies? Um, I usually plan ahead, look at when I have games and practices, and study beforehand. Okay, so who is that person? He is Mr. Yukichi Fukuzawa. Okay, thank you. What are some other popular circles for Pearl students? Uh, there's an international uh, circle called IIR, and I know a bunch of Pearl students who uh, joined that one. What is a typical day like for you guys? Um, I usually come to school at around 9. Uh, I take online classes here at Kiyoshi. And for the rest of the day, I usually study in the study room. For me, I go to practice in the morning. And then after practice, I go straight to school. How do you guys start your day? 
on a good day, I'd start my day with Pilates or yoga. Mm, for me, waking up at 4.30 and going to practice. <laughs> How do you come to campus? I take the train. I also take the train, but I have to go to practice. So it's a little, like, I guess it's two stations away. And yeah, it's quite close. How long does it take for you to arrive on campus? Uh, for me, it's about a 20 minute train ride. Um, for me, from home would be 20 minutes. From my practice space to my school would be six minutes. Do you guys do any part-time jobs? Yeah, uh, I teach English. And I teach English conversation. What is your favorite place on campus? Oh, definitely the chairs, like the benches we were sitting at earlier when we met you. Yeah. Um, mine would be the restaurants near the station. Have you seen any Sokyesen? I went to the baseball Sokyesen. Could you tell us how to enter Pearl? Um, so you have to write a two to four page essay on why you want to study at KO, and you also have to submit a test score, maybe IB, SAT, or AP, and you also have to have your high school diploma and a letter of recommendation. Okay, thank you. How was the process? Oh, it took a quite long time, but um, also if you start early, it's not too bad. Any tips? I would say the essay takes a long time, so maybe start early on that. What is the last class you have taken? Oh, this morning we had the English academic skills class together. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the class you like the most so far? Uh, my favorite would be um, female studies. Yeah. Mine would be science and cooking. So what is science and cooking and female studies class? So science and cooking, we basically look at how science is connected to cooking. So maybe molecules, atoms, and everything. <laughs> Yeah, female studies, um, we learn about like the his history of women's suffrage <clears throat> and also um, we have reports and presentations on like gender issues that we researched about. Okay, what is a class that you're curious about? Oh, I'm, I really want to take the Western, uh, history of Western art and fashion next semester. Mm. Yeah. Mine would be intercultural communication. What is the average class size? Uh, so for mandatory classes, since everyone's in it, it'll be around 100. But for other classes, it's usually around 20-ish, maybe less. Are most of your classes held online or face-to-face? -face? Um, for now, they're mainly online. Uh, do you feel like there are more returnees in Pearl? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, especially now with COVID, since a lot of students haven't been able to come to Japan. Uh, I've noticed that I think about half of our uh, classmates are still abroad. They come from abroad. How many languages can you speak? Oh, I speak English, Japanese, and a little bit of Indonesian. And I speak English and Japanese. Do you study any languages? Oh, I'm studying French right now. And I take Spanish. How are the professors like in Pearl? Uh, so far from what I've seen, they're pretty friendly. And also, since our class sizes are pretty small, uh, they like support us a lot. They help us out. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. How many assignments do you usually have? Uh, so usually I'd have around like three that I need to worry about in that moment. Mm, I would say two to three assignments as well. Yeah. So are you guys sleep deprived? Yes, no. but <laughs> not as much as her. I'm always sleep deprived. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you study a day? Uh, so besides school, like class time, I, I'd say about five hours. I would say seven to eight hours. What is your go-to study method? Uh, I like to write everything down because I feel like muscle memory helps a lot. And mine would be using the Pomodoro timer and listening to background music. What is your favorite place to study? Oh, definitely um, the one of the big study rooms. I always study there. Mine would be the library because it's really quiet. What do you usually do the night before a big test? Oh, I cram. <laughs> I cram as well, but I also sleep. <laughs> okay, if you are stuck on a deserted island and you only have one book, what are you reading? 
Uh, oh, there's this book called Ova Tristes. Yeah, I take French, but it's still hard to pronounce. <laughs> uh, it, it has like a bunch of French um, phrases and like sentences that help your day like a lot more happy. Yeah. Mine would be how to survive in the wild. Yeah. Awesome. What is that one item you can't live without in college? Oh, my iPad, because I take all my notes on my iPad. Mine would be my headphones, because I listen to music and I also listen to classes. Your favorite dish in the cafeteria? Oh, I like to. I like all the the Japanese style vegetables, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, like hijiki. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be udon. Okay, tell us your favorite place to eat. Oh, the the chairs outside. The, there there is like. Uh, tables that we can sit and eat at. Yeah. Mine, okay. Oh, oh sorry. Mine Maybe would be um, the restaurants nearby the school mm -hmm. station. Okay, so where are we right now? Okay, so this is the Hiyoshi Kinenkan. <laughs> it's a new building. Uh, oh, we did our entrance, entrance ceremony, ceremony here, yeah. yeah. So tell us the most genuine advice you've gotten some from someone. Uh, so in elementary, um, my teacher from fourth grade, he told me, always be original, um, always be, always be yourself, yeah. Mine would be, don't expect things from people. What is one advice you would give to your high school self? Stop overthinking. I mean, I still do that now, but stop overthinking. Mine would be, study econ beforehand. What is the most rewarding thing about being a Pearl student? Uh, I think being able to meet so many like special people, everyone is really talented, mature, and yeah, I really enjoy talking to them, everyone, yeah. Um, I would say the same, yeah, yeah, like they're so different and they're so fun to be with, so yeah, being able to hang out with the cool students at Pearl. <laughs> okay, what song would you describe your college experience so far? Uh, the, the one that comes to mind would be Stargazing by The Neighborhood. Um, I feel like like the beat, the vibe, it's very motivational. It's a good song to listen to in the morning True. to get your day started. Yeah. yeah. Mine would be Nuestra Canción. Do the majority of the students in Pearl want to change the world or want to be rich? Well, we are an alliance research and leadership major. So yeah, I guess we want to change the world in some way. How are the libraries in KO? It's a really good place to study, right? Mm -hmm. Like they yeah. have a lot of resources that it's really helpful when we do like research papers and stuff. Yeah. How fashionable are people in Pearl? Well, we don't dress like the typical Japanese mm -hmm. students, but we are pretty fashionable. Is Pearl diverse? Yes, definitely. Do you think it should be more diverse? Yes, because we don't see a lot of European students, so maybe a lot more diversity would be nice. Mm. Okay, was it easy to make friends? Yes, it's definitely really easy to make friends here. I've made a lot of friends in a short amount of time. Mm. What is unique about Pearl? Oh, I guess we get to take, um, I guess, studies in two campuses. That's pretty unique. And we also are one of the two English courses, like English programs that we do all English classes in. So I guess that's pretty cool as well. What is the one thing you would change about Pearl? Okay, so I think since we're one of the, like, oh, one of the two English programs in KO, um, we don't get as much support as we do in, in, as they do in other faculties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is dating culture like in Pearl? Uh, I don't think we have a lot of students mm. that are dating in Pearl, but we have a lot of um, Pearl students dating others, like outside Pearl students. But we also have Pearl Pearl couples as well. Do you recommend Pearl to everyone? Yes, definitely. Yes. It's a great environment to study in. What is the one thing you want to let aspiring Pearl students know? Uh, so I think, uh, I think. I, I want everyone, to, I think everyone should like <laughs> challenge themselves, go out of their comfort zone, uh, socialize, yeah. Mine would be study econ and statistics beforehand because the professors expect you to know the basics. So what is your social media? 
Here's my here. Apple Music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so final question. What typical kale things should I do before I leave? Oh, like as we've seen today walking around campus, uh, the scenery is pretty great. So I'd say walking around campus would be fun. Mine would be eating at the restaurants nearby. Okay, thank you. That's all. Bye. Thank you.